Extra Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to use the journey to Divine Masculine. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get in with energy. kind of shiny just ignore it okay it'll be all good in a couple of more weeks okay y'all know how tattoos go okay and we're about to set up here and get into it okay yes we are all right let me take this deck down okay how's everybody doing tonight Make sure you push that like button, subscribe, okay? Let me go over the services that I provide really quick. And then we're going to jump straight into this reading. I provide a protection bubble that covers you with the blood of Jesus. It prevents any harm, danger, or evil coming towards you for 90 days for $22. Also have a family protection bubble bundle, which is for one adult and up to four children. We still got to keep our children protected against molestation, abuse, bullying, generational curses. 
this protection bubble will come in handy when you're not around your children to give them that extra protection. And that is for one adult up to four children for $44. Also do cord cutting, which severs any ties, any unhealthy ties to any toxic narcissists, ex-lovers, neighbors, co-workers, anybody that's not for your highest good, please Google the benefits of getting a cord cutting, okay? I'm telling you, them cord cuttings ain't no joke, okay? If you really is know without a shadow of a doubt that you are done with a motherfucker, okay? Get a cord cutting, okay? And move on with your life, okay? With a big smile on your face, okay? And cord cuttings is $55. Also do reversal spell work. I can remove curses, voodoo, hexes, any kind of spell work or black magic that has been done on you. I can send it back to the sender right away. If you do not have any money whatsoever and you need special prayer, please leave in the comments detail of what you need the prayer to consist of. Or reach out to me through my email, which is innocencetarot at gmail.com. Once again, that's innocencetarot at gmail.com. Okay. And, um, yeah, so make sure you got, and if you need any other um, information about any other services, as far as readings, merchandise, different things like that, feel free to reach out. Okay. And yeah, we're about to jump straight in this read and see what's going on with the mask and how he's feeling, okay? Let's see what's going on. Don't forget to push that like button, subscribe, okay? Divine Masculine, he going through a whole lot of chaos, okay? A whole lot of drama and chaos is going on around his ass right now. Divine Masculine is in full regret wishing. That he never ever let you go. Divine Master sit back every day with his hand on his head, not understanding how could he let such a great woman go? Let an empress go? Okay. Fully loaded, okay. Full lottery ticket. Never have to want for anything ever because God would have had him for life. He just don't understand why he did what he did, okay? Divine Masculine. He's starting to sit up here and see that he needs to change, okay? Always in his ego, always in his pride, sitting up here not seeing the truth within the situations, always putting his feelings before others. Divine Masculine is really sitting up here feeling the consequences to his actions, okay? Wishing and regretting that he sat up here and kept the relationship stagnant, okay? He wished that he never kept this relationship stagnant. Wished that he would have did things in a different manner, okay? What he really hates each and every day, okay, is waking up to this musty mouth ass bitch every day, okay? He don't like this bitch, okay? She look like a breath stank, okay? Look at this bitch, okay? She's sneaky, okay? And Divine Masculine wishing that he would have sat up here and not pick this situation, okay? Wishing that he would have just did the work, okay? But he settled. He settled for this karmic and this family dynamic, okay? And he over there bored, okay? Feeling extra detached, okay? And on top of that, ever since he decided to sit up here and recommit to this karmic, his money's been funny, okay? All kind of bad luck is happening, okay? And he don't even sit up here and feel connected to her, okay? He doesn't. He lay, He's there every night. He's sleeping in the bed with this bitch, but his heart ain't there, okay? Divine Masculine, he just a vessel laying in the bed with this bitch each and every night, feeling detached and very unhappy, okay? Divine Masculine feels extra trapped in the situation, okay? And one of the reasons he could be feeling extra trapped because he could have gave in and married this karmic, okay? Letting this musty mouth ass bitch run the show and trapped, okay? Not to mind a soul contract, but a physical contract, man-made contract, okay? And Divine Master is feeling extra overloaded. All type of bills and responsibilities is coming at him, okay? He's feeling very overwhelmed. Feeling having a whole lot of different headaches, overindulging, okay, and just it just feel like it ain't no way out, okay. And he's very depressed, okay. 
divine masculine spirit guides have been telling him to reach out to least apologize to you and the longer he don't apologize the longer he continues to put this karmic before this twin flame journey the more and more divine masculine is going to sit up here and get bad luck it looks like divine masculine is starting to put two and two together starting to sit up here and see the signs starting to see if he don't do right divine masculine stability is really being affected okay whoever this masculine is he's very materialistic okay and the only way that god can sit up here and get his attention is through his money through his stability okay this is why god is sitting up here overloading divine masculine where that card go okay there you go. hold on y'all mm. Oh, here we go. Lord, you're so good. I love you so much. Okay. Yeah, God is sitting up here affecting that stability, okay? Making him feel overwhelmed, okay? He ain't big man on the block like he used to be because God's sitting up here reminding him who's the head person in charge, okay? Who's the MVP, okay? So, Divine Masculine currently, he's sitting up here feeling guilty, okay? Feeling very guilty for sitting up here ghosting you, okay? Feeling extra triggered. Not understanding how he could be so cold to someone that he really do love, okay? Knowing that you ain't going to never see him the same anymore, okay? And he's in full regret. Not understanding why he did you so dirty, okay? Especially when he knew how much you loved him and knew that you was really his soulmate, okay? He's seeing the signs and synchronicities, okay? He's seeing the truth within the situation. Divine masculine judgment was clouded, okay? Because this must be my fast karmic sitting up here doing black magic and spell work to sit up here and get her way. Divine masculine don't, don't even get along with this karmic, yet he married this karmic. And this is why he's getting bad luck. He was supposed to take a leap of faith with you, but didn't. Feeling so stupid, okay? Praying to God. Okay, seeing that he should have set up here and picked um, his spiritual path. Okay, wishing that he would have sat up here and took a leap of faith. Okay, let God down. Okay, he just didn't let you down. He let God down too. God is very much disappointed too. Even though you have free will, God still makes you pay for the different decisions that you make. Okay, those decisions turn into karma. Okay, got to be careful. And he going through a whole lot of karma. Because he wanted to sit up here and pick this karma instead of sitting up here, changing his life, choosing God, and choosing his twin flame, which is you, Divine Family. Now he's sitting up here going through all this karma. Now he want to compromise and work as a team, wishing that he did. All you ever tried to do was help him. All you tried to do was let him see a different way. And for him to do you like he did you, for this bitch that he know that don't give a fuck about him? How could your mind be clouded with someone that you know that don't love you? How can you be comfortable in a toxic situation, okay, to not know what your heart wants, okay? But hey, he sold his soul for a jelly roll to the karmic, okay? Hold on, y'all. That's I hate when y'all put your scarf on trying to scratch your head. Oh, oh sorry, y'all. Forgive me. Now he's sitting up here trying to sit up here and talk to you telepathically. Sitting up here now he want to talk. Now he want to work as a team. Now he want to sit up here and compromise because life is hitting his ass upside his head. Okay? Now he got the clarity, okay, that he should have sat up here and picked his twin flame journey. Okay? Suppressing his feelings. Mad at himself because he abandoned you. Okay? Don't want to deal with nobody because in solitude, thinking about his actions, thinking about everything that he did, which he needs to. But he wants you to know that he's learning his lessons, okay? Divine Masculine been sitting up here listening to a whole lot of music as well since you and him separated, okay? That music is helping him to heal. God is sending messages through music to you and to him, okay? And Divine Masculine is contemplating. If he want to sit up here and still be fake, or do he want to sit up here and finally tell the truth, okay? 
Divine Master don't know what he want to sit up here do, but he thinking about it, okay? He thinking about it, okay? Divine Masculine wants you want to sit up here and take that mask off, okay? He's been guided to sit up here and take that mask off and to tell the truth. God is waiting on Divine Masculine to sit up here and tell the truth that he was married, that he was married, got married, okay? God is waiting on Divine Masculine to tell the truth, not to lead you on. God wants Divine Masculine to sit up here and tell you the truth on why he ghosted you, why he separated away from you, okay? I don't even think that you knew he was married. And if he was married, he was telling you that it was over, that you know they, you know that they wasn't getting along, okay? He didn't tell you that they still was working on a relationship, okay? He didn't tell you that, okay? But Divine Masculine, he praying that you just roll, he gonna roll the dice and ask you for forgiveness because he has no other choice, okay? Because he got judgment on him. God is sitting up here getting in his ass and you already know how Divine Masculine can't take nobody messing with them finances, okay? That's what makes him feel like he's the shit. That's what gave his ass the ego in the first place. Money, okay? Power, cars, bitches, okay? And now that God is taking everything away, he can't take it. He can't take it. But he do see the signs, okay? And he, he God making him learn that lesson. You better not ever fuck with Divine Feminine ever and play with her like that again. Not a chosen one. Divine Masculine is very upset that he took the coward's way out. He took the coward's way out and sat up here and ghosted you and did you dirty, okay? For this bitch, okay? This is the bitch he did you dirty for, okay? He got such low self-esteem to the point that he is accustomed to the drama and the disrespect. I guess this karmic reminds him of his mama, okay? Because why would a person want to put themselves in a situation that they're not happy, they study being disrespected, and they're not in love with the person? But he got such low self-esteem. I guess this karmic, she be having more bass in her fucking voice than him, okay? And he might be scared of this bitch, okay? To the point that he, he does what she wants him to do. She does, okay? Mm-hmm. Divine Master been thinking about you, having nostalgia memories and thoughts about you, about the good times, okay? The more and more he sit in solitude, the more and more he feel like shit about his actions and he needs to. This man got real low self-esteem, okay? He don't even feel like he's deserving of a real woman, an empress, okay? He said, fuck that lottery ticket. I want that bum bitch right over there. And that's what he picked, okay? That's what he picked, okay? Wishing that he would have picked that new beginning, but he didn't. So God is having him go through hardships, affecting his money instability, okay? And divine masculine is heartbroken, breaking down each and every day, wishing that he never, ever sabotaged the relationship. He drinking, he doing drugs, he trying to cope, he numbing himself, just very unhappy. It's a sad ass shame. That a person got to sit up here and drink and get high just to be around a bitch, right? That's a fucked up situation, okay? When you don't like a bitch that much, okay? And she should feel like shit, okay? Like, damn, I'll feel some type of way if somebody had to get fucked up to kick it with me, okay? Mm-mm. But this bitch know what time it is. She don't care if she's long. She got a half a man, even though she know he don't want to be there. And this man is drinking, drinking himself to death and doing drugs, okay? This man on his last leg, and somebody need to sit up here and pull his coattail and tell him, hey, man, you need to chill. This ain't cool, okay? But he mad. He's ashamed on how he did you, okay? Instead of just apologizing to you, first repenting to God and then apologizing to you, okay? But no, this man continues to drink, continues to do drugs, trying to numb himself instead of making things right with you. He listening to this bad luck ass karmic, okay, that told him to sabotage the relationship with you and look at all the bad luck he's going through, wishing that he didn't suppress 
um, wishing that he didn't sit up here and abandon you, okay? Suppressing his feelings each and every day, okay? Finances has been affected heavy. He ain't the man no more, okay? All type of chaos and drama is going on in this man's life, okay? Then he got his wicked ass mama, okay, teaming up with the karmic, making him feel as though this is the right thing to do. When they and he got such low self esteem that he listened to both of these musty mouth ass bitches, okay? And some mamas is cool and some mamas is the devil. And this is just the truth, okay? You're going to have karmic mamas, karmic daddies, karmic kids, okay? And this musty mouth ass mama of his is wrong, okay? To not sit up here and tell her son th what the truth, okay? You, who you do you love? His mama encouraging him to stay in a toxic situation, okay? But she's a karmic. So, of course, she's going to team up with Karmic Stick together, okay? They do, okay? They do, okay? And Divine Masculine over there looking stupid with his low self-esteem ass and won't sit up here and stand up for himself, okay? Study sitting up here trying to figure out, okay, do, do he take off this mask or not, okay? And let me tell you something. His mama. His mama played a part in why he walked away from you, too. His mama played a part, told him to stay with this karmic. And this masculine is so used to doing what his mama wanted him to do that he did it, even though it broke his heart. Okay, Divine Masculine knew how loyal you was. He knew how much you loved him. Divine Masculine know how you and him feel about each other. But yet, he put that all on the back burner. And did what his mama wanted him to do and the karmic. And he walked away from you in full denial on how much he really loved you. Okay? But now his ass is ready to travel to his twin flame. Want to sit up here and make it right. But it's too late time. It's too much time has went by. Okay? But he finna fly, travel, okay, to you. Okay? The Ryan Masterman can't sit up here and get you out his thoughts, out his dreams, okay? He's so mad, okay, that he listened to his mama, okay? And this karmic, he's so mad that he let the best thing that he ever had, okay? This karmic is jealous of you, and his mama is jealous of you, too, because they never see no one that had that type of effect on him, okay? They just never seen it, okay? And love conquers all. And they didn't like that shit. They liked the fact that he was deceptive, okay? They liked the way of his bad acting as behavior, okay? And they encouraged the bullshit, okay? They did. Hold on, y'all. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Okay, can y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. But yeah. Now he realizing how much he loves you, okay? Now that he done walked away, okay? Instead of him taking that mask off, telling both of them the truth that he really do love you, okay? Knowing that he threw away the best thing that ever happened to him. And he been crying, hurt, okay? All up in his feelings, wishing that he didn't do what he did because he paying for it too. God is on his ass with karma, Okay? Knowing that he should have never, ever lied and told you that he was going to commit to you, that he wanted to be with you for the long haul, okay? But he talking about he couldn't do it. Yeah, he couldn't do it because guess who was up in his mind, up in his ear? Guess who, okay? See, that's what makes you not want to sit up here and deal with your divine masculine. It turns you off that he don't have his own mind. What person let somebody else? determine his future okay and this is why he did not commit to you okay his mama played a big part in that in that um decision okay she did okay she did and this is why he did not keep his word okay this is why he chickened out this is why he took the easy way out and ghosted you okay with no explanation not a text he wouldn't even pinch you and tell you shit, okay? Damn, he could have wrote a note, okay? Like how they do in class and pass a note to somebody to give to you. I mean, damn, he 
he just did some fake ass coward shit, okay? That you won't never forget. That you won't never forget because you thought the job was all good, okay? But he didn't tell you that he was at a crossroads that for some reason he loved this karmic, okay? For some reason he loved that karmic, okay? He did. But when you pulled back, he was able to see how much he really sat up here and felt about you, okay? But God has a way of showing somebody what the deal is, okay? And when you pulled back and you walked away, he seen that you had his heart. That's undeniable. And everybody around him knows that. And he's so hurt. He's so upset at himself that he sat up here and listened to people, family, friends, okay? And especially, okay, his miserable ass, single ass, no having man ass mama, okay? Oh, he mad about that, okay? And this is what I'm trying to please her ass. Okay, that's why he couldn't do it. But now he's planning. He's trying to come up with the master plan to try to figure out on how he can get you back. He's been so searching, really thinking he could like to wear hats, could have a whole lot of hats. Divine Masculine is ready to throw up that white flag and ready to surrender, okay? Because he has to. God may tell him he has to, okay? But he finna surrender and he finna roll the dice. He finna sit up here and come and have this conversation with you, okay? And it looks like he wants to be transparent, okay, on who he married or who he married to. Look like he finally ready to tell the fucking truth and nothing but the truth, okay? Finally gonna tell you why he sat up here and separated, ready to confess everything that he should have been already told you, Okay? You're about to get a whole lot of information and knowledge. Why? Because like I said, Divine Master going through a whole lot of karma. Going through a whole lot of karma. Uh, trying to get the willpower to sit up here and reach out to you. But in so much shame, don't know what to say to you. Because you're so lovable. You're such a good person, Divine Family. You didn't deserve that. Divine Master know that he unworthy to even feel like he can ask for another opportunity with you, okay? But it looked like he want to come in with a gift to kind of, kind of soften the blow, okay? Want to sit up here and give you a token of his appreciation and ask you for forgiveness because the light bulb has came on, okay? Divine Masculine has to see now and see the truth as he's been going through this spiritual awakening, okay? He's seeing the truth in only the way that God can sit up here and awaken you. You know how it was when you first went through your spiritual awakening, okay? Everything new, see everything different, everything taste, feel different. And that's where he's going through the beginning stages of having an awakening, okay? Trying to sit up here and get up the confidence, okay? To sit up here and ask you for your forgiveness trying to have the confidence to ask for another opportunity or at least to have a conversation with you. But what he will, but what he is going to sit up here and do, God sitting up here making them learn his lessons, okay? Oh, yeah, he going through all these lessons, okay? Karma's on his ass, okay? In a real way. One thing he really want to do, he want to sit up here and reconcile with you. And he about to communicate that to you. And this communication is going to come out the blue. You'll see. You'll see because you're the one that makes him sit up here and feel abundant, Divine Family. You do, okay? Divine Master don't feel balanced without you. He wants to feel balanced. You is his other half. He don't feel complete without you, okay? Nobody makes him feel the way that um, you do. Divine Master made the worst decision in his world in the world when he decided to sit up here and go back to this karmic, this marriage, or get married to this bitch when he wasn't supposed to. Okay? He was supposed to make it right with you. Okay? But he's gonna have to end up when it's all said and done, because God gonna have his way. Divine Master gonna have to surrender that bitch, okay? If he wanna sit up here and live, okay, and not continue to keep going through karma. Okay, this bitch is bad luck. And him going back to this bitch, okay, hmm, he done, he taking on his own karma and hers too, okay? I bet it's a lot of people in her family that's sick 
okay? This bitch is an evil bitch, okay? And she's under judgment as well. She's under judgment as well, okay? And Divine Masculine, he better get independent and get away from her. Oh, he better get away from this crazy bitch because karma is building up. God ain't playing with the masculine. If he ever want to be abundant again, he better leave that bad little bitch alone. Okay, he better mm, wishing, regretting that he should have never left this relationship stagnant. Okay, oh, he wishing, praying that he didn't leave that relationship stagnant. He feels stupid, knowing all along that he loves you, knowing that ain't nobody else gonna make him feel like you do. You guys have a spiritual connection, okay? You do, okay? And ain't nobody gonna make him feel make him feel the way that you make him feel. He can look, he can look, he can look, okay? Each lifetime, he still ain't gonna find it. It's within you. You're the only one that makes him feel like he can do anything. You're the only one, divine family. And I think he's starting to see that, okay? He is so mad, so pissed off that he married this bitch, that he is married to the bitch, okay? He pissed the fuck off in full regret. Mm. Feeling unworthy, okay? Want another chance. Soul searching, okay? He by himself, he thinking. But that's what he needs to think. He needs to be still and thinking. He thinking, he's soul searching, and he in solitude. Okay? And God is speaking to him. Okay? Speaking to him through his dreams. Speaking to him through his intuition, his thoughts, everything. Okay? He can't escape himself no more. Okay? Realizing how toxic his mama is. Okay? His mama played a big part. Okay? And all Divine Mask want to do is stay balanced. He needs to raise his self-esteem. He needs to stop listening to everybody else and do what he needs to do, okay? He needs to stop sitting up here talking about what he can't do, okay? He can, and he needs to sit up here and stand up to the karmic and his mama, okay? And he's feeling very vulnerable, very vulnerable, heartbroken, wishing that he didn't walk away from the divine family, okay? Going through a whole lot of hardships, okay? Whole lot of shit is happening to him. And it's all because of karma. It's all because he around that bad luck bitch, okay? That's what it is. That's what it is. But it looks like the light bulb is coming on. He ready to shit up here and travel to you, trying to find a way, planning on coming towards you somehow, some way, okay? Been to sit up here and roll the dice, okay? Even though he's feeling unworthy, okay? Divine Master, know that you worth it. You worth it, Divine Family, and he sees it. Mm-hmm. But first, he gonna reach out and communicate. He gonna communicate to you, okay? And he trying to sit up here and get up the confidence to find a way to communicate, okay? So get ready for that, okay? But you already know that. God already showing you.